Okay, so lesson one five, angle relationships. All you need here is the title. We'll look at specifically vertical angles, linear pairs, and angle bisectors. There's a slide that describes each of them. Okay, vertical angles. So take a minute, pause the video, copy down the figures on the slide, and then we'll talk about them. All right, so vertical angles. What are they? When two lines intersect, angles formed across from each other. Okay, vertical angles always share a vertex. Vertical angles are always congruent. So then looking at this figure, two lines intersect. At their vertex, the angles formed there, A and B, are vertical angles. And I know angle A is congruent to angle B. So what can I conclude from that? That the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. Okay, so looking at this figure, 118 degrees is here. This angle is its vertical angle, so this angle measure would be 180 degrees as well. Looking at this figure, if this is a right angle, 90 degrees, then its vertical angle, the angle across from it, would be 90 degrees as well. And then lastly, this, these intersecting lines, if that angle is 17 degrees, then its vertical angle would have a measure of 17 degrees as well. Take a minute, pause the slide, and copy the two figures. Okay, so looking at these figures, these angles are vertical, two intersecting lines, same vertex. So what do we know about the measure of vertical angles? They're equal. So 7x minus 12 equals 2x plus 6. Solving this for x, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 5x minus 12 equals 6. When I add 12 to both sides, I get 5x equals 18. Eighteen divided by five, three with three left over, so three point six. So we'll just solve for x in each of these. The other diagram, vertical angles again. Vertical angles have equal measure, so four x plus eighteen is equal to twenty eight. I subtract eighteen from both sides. Four x is equal to ten. So 10 divided by 4, x is equal to 2.5. Now without any work, I know that this angle measure would be 28 degrees also. Okay, so to find the measure of these angles, we would have to substitute our value for x to find the measure of each individual angle. Okay, linear pairs. Take a minute, copy down the three pictures. Linear pairs are a pair, so that's two, of angles. A pair of adjacent angles. And if we look at the root of the word, line, they form a straight line. So when I look at the figure here, if they form a straight line, then the angles are going to be supplementary. So what do I know? I know the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B 
will always equal 180 degrees. Okay, so adjacent, we know that they have to share that common side. And then this will always be a straight angle. All right, so for the first one to find x, I have One hundred and thirty seven plus x will equal one eighty. Those two angles form a straight line. So subtracting one thirty seven from both sides, x would equal forty three degrees. For the second one, x plus seventy eight equals one hundred and eighty. Subtracting seventy eight from both sides, I would get one hundred and two degrees. So these are simple uses of them where you have one angle measure and then the other one is just an X. Okay, take a minute, copy down the three figures for me, and we'll solve each of them for X. Okay, this forms a straight line. So my equation, 2X plus 22 plus 3X minus 24 has to equal 180 degrees. Combining like terms, 2x plus 3x gives me 5x. 22 minus 24 gives me negative 2. Adding 2 to both sides, so I get 5x is equal to 182. Dividing both sides by 5, you would get 36.4 for the value of x. All right, let's do... For this, if I wanted to know the measure of each angle, angle, 3 times 36.4 minus 24. So by all means, use a calculator. You would get 85.2. And then I could do one of two things for this. I could plug in the 36.4 to the expression, or we know we could subtract the 85.2 from 180. So this would give me 94.8 degrees. Okay, next one. The adjacent angles form a straight line. 7x plus 15 equals 180. Subtract 15 from both sides. 7x equals 165. 165 divided by 7 is a really nasty number, so we'll just leave it as that fraction. And then lastly, 3x plus 15x would equal 180 degrees. Okay, the adjacent angles form a straight line. Combining like terms, 18x equals 180, so it would make x equal to 18. All right, so at any time, you could be, you would need to find x, and then we know we could plug it in to find what the individual angle measures are as well. Okay, last one, angle bisector. Now this term should be familiar. We saw a segment bisector, and a segment bisector was a line array or a segment that cut a segment into two congruent parts. So an angle bisector, instead of it cutting a segment into two equal parts, it can be a line, array, or a segment that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Okay, so the markings are a little rough, but we know that these marks mean congruent. So I would have angle EFH is congruent to angle GFH. And then what do we conclude from there? We know that the measures of the angles are equal. So 
So copy these figures down. If the measure of this angle is 47 degrees, then I know the measure of angle HFG is 47 degrees. And we would say that ray FH bisects angle EFG. Okay, so for all these figures, the same ray FH, I know I have to start at my endpoint, bisects angle EFG. Okay, so if these two angles are congruent and I know that angle EFG is 107, these will be equal. So I get 2x would equal 107. So the individual angle measures would be 53.5 degrees. All right, we'll look at a couple examples of angle bisectors. Okay, so whoop. And this should read x plus 78. So take a minute, copy those down for me. So x plus 78 equals 6x minus 15. Solving this equation for x, first I'll subtract x from both sides. And then I'm going to add 15 to both sides. So I get 5x is equal to 93. Dividing both sides by 5, x is, would equal 18.6. Right, and last example, find x if angle E, this is, these are backwards, angle E, F, H, and angle G, F, H. From the markings, those two angles are congruent. So 8x minus 23 is equal to 2x plus 7. Subtracting 2x from both sides, get 6x minus 23 is equal to 7. Add 23, 6x equals 30. And then dividing by 6, I would get x is equal to 5. If I ask you for the measure of angle G F H, I plug that back into the expression, 8 times 5 minus 23, so 40 minus 23, 17 degrees. And then I know that this would automatically have to be 17 degrees as well, and plugging it into the expression, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 7 gives me, verifies it's 17.